this, this one is called Once Upon a Saga. That's the name of the project. Once Upon a Saga. Why? Why, um, why was it named that? You know, I don't get that question very often. It's a really good question. I like that. I love to travel, I love different cultures, I love to meet people. I want to go and see a color in a sunset I've never seen before, or taste some food, or do a silly dance, or discover something I, I never knew before, things that can be done in a different way. And there's, there's a million reasons why I want to do something like this. I feel I have a chance to, to inspire others to go to new places. I feel that um, if, you, if you pick up the newspaper today, any newspaper basically, um, you, might, you might start to believe that the world is on fire. You might read uh, Ebola and corruption and burning car and uh, conflict zone and all of this. And that is a part of the world. Uh, but that's the sensational part of the world. The, the larger part of the world are all these people who have a family and they're interested in their children having some, um, some clean clothes and good food and good school and good friends and a good opportunity in life. People who discuss uh, sports, fo football or baseball or what it might be. Uh, people who talk about the weather. I haven't been to a country in the world where people do not discuss the weather. It's unbelievable. And I feel like people get scared. Um, some of the first things that I was asked when I came to Jamaica, um, this guy was sitting next to me and he was asking me, so uh, you heard about the media in Jamaica? I said, no, no, what? He said, well, what do you know about Jamaica? He said, oh, it's a it's an island in the Caribbean, it's a, it's a natural beauty, it's a food culture, a historical culture, it's an amazing place. This was, I heard about Usain Bolt, you know, I heard about the bobsled team, I heard about Bob Marley and these things. Oh good, good, S stick with that. I said, well, what were you indicating? I said, well, there's been some writing about the increased uh, violence in the country. And all. I said, yeah, okay, yeah, but that's, that's the case for many countries around the world. Should I, should I assume that I'll be unsafe? while I'm in Jamaica, and said, no, 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 people are nice, you'll be all right. And, so, and I've been here for uh, a full 14 days now, almost, and I've, I've seen a few things, but, but, but mostly I've just encountered people who are friendly and forthcoming and curious and helpful, and, and I think that's, that's not just a Jamaican thing, I think, uh, I think you can find that in most every country you want to go and visit. And I think people on the other side of the planet, when they read these newspapers, they become scared of some countries. They might become scared of Venezuela right now, you know. There's a lot for the media to write about Venezuela. And the people, they don't, they don't want to go there. Or they don't want to go to Mexico. Or they don't want to go to Honduras. And at the same time, yes, these are countries that have some issues. But at the same time, there's just so much to go and discover in terms of culture and natural beauty and hospitality and all of this.